So you're Sam Wasson. You wrote that book on uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Yeah, Fifth Avenue, 5 a.m. It was a New York Times bestseller. Yeah, for like a week. Two weeks. And you have this new book on Bob Fosse. Yes, Fosse. I called it Fosse. That is a huge book. Yeah. How, how, long, uh, how long does it take you to write something that big? Uh, three and a half years. Wow. You, you can put it down. Okay. So where do you begin with such a huge subject? Fosse was such an enormous, larger-than-life uh, figure of endless passions and bottomless urges and constant work and deep hungers, sex and drugs and desires. Um, I, I couldn't relate to that at all I, until I just sort of realized that the only way I could really know Fosse and really do the biographer's job was to become Bob Fosse. And that's what I've really been doing for the past three and a half years. Fosse slept with a great many of his leading ladies, but there were a few that got away. Hi, is this Shirley MacLaine's agent? I find Shirley very attractive. Hello? Fosse's seduction technique was almost foolproof. He said what he wanted, and most times he got it. He'll come in. It's Liza with a Z. Leave a message with a shebang. Hi, Liza. Um, this is Sam Wasson. I got your number from Bruce Valanche, and um, I got Bruce Valanche's number from Joel Gray. I'd love to take you out to dinner um, and a movie or Kinky Boots, if you haven't seen it. We could go to Sur La Table. We could go to H&M. We could get outfits together. I'm so nervous talking to you right now. Hello? Depression. That was another essential Fosse oh. component and particularly challenging for me because I'm a naturally, you know, cheery fucking person. Showtime, folks. Showtime, folks. Mm. Five, six, seven, eight. Hey, big spender. It's pastrami and white, lettuce and mayo. It's your favorite sandwich. It's Bob Fosse's favorite sandwich. Oh, man. Sam, 86 Nathan Lane. I know about the cake. Step away from the cake. Just call me. Sammy, it's Andrea Martin. I heard Liza didn't return your call. I'd like you to know I find you sexually very attractive. Call me. Sammy. Hey, pal. How you doing? Hey. I brought your pie. Okay. You'll like it if you try it. So you're really wallowing in this uh, depression, huh? When, uh, when Bob Fosse would get depressed, he'd get fueled by his depression. I would like you to finish this book, pal. It's a book we need. It's a life we need to understand. So why don't you get your ass out of bed and write it? Get up, motherfucker. <laughs> Next thing I know, I was in front of the computer just typing away furiously. I don't even remember what came out, but it just came pouring out of me. And at a high standard of perfectionism that I really could only equate with Bob. I mean, he was just relentless on those dancers when he had a vision and would just beat the talent out of them. He would go over a number or just a small step or just a finger over and over and over again. It was never good enough. It was never perfect. And I found that I was holding myself to standards I didn't know I was capable of, like accuracy in spelling, grammar, um, font size. Uh, font itself was suddenly overwhelmingly important. And all throughout, I'm thinking to myself, you got to get this perfect. you got to do this again. you got to get this perfect for Bob. So here 
it is, my new book, Fosse. Uh, can, we cut, can we cut for a second? It's Liza. Listen, I'd love to make love with you. It's terrific. Shabam, wham, boom. I gotta go. With a hot shot and a whoopee.